Reporting for Cyclones TV, I'm Nick Brunker. Here at U.S. Bank Arena, we are getting set for a Saturday night puck drop between the Cyclones and the Elmira Jackals. Last night was a good one for Ben Simon and company. A 7-5 win in a back-and-forth affair, but two points are two points. And those are big ones for the Cyclones, who now propel themselves into the fifth seed of the Eastern Conference race as they look to wrap up this home schedule for the month of March. Of course, for tonight's purposes, the Jackals are playing with simply nothing to lose, as if they lose tonight's game and combine with either a Florida or a Fort Wayne loss, their season, at least in terms of postseason contention, will officially come to an end. Of course, that does not mean that they're going to come with any less intensity. Last night we saw a very good effort from them, and they almost came back from a three-goal deficit. Fortunately for the Cyclones, that didn't happen. One of the big players from last night's game is one of tonight's players to watch for the Cyclones, and that is forward Brian Nugent, who had himself a tremendous night. In fact, it was a career night for the young man, playing in his first professional season out of the Northern Michigan University. He has a total this year now of 12 goals and 11 assists after a five point showing. He had four goals, including the empty netter at the end, and an assist to help the Cyclones propel themselves to that big win. On the other side of the ice, Jordan Petros is able to notch another goal. It was a short handed tally that gave the Jackals some life in the middle period. 11 goals, 29 assists are his numbers now overall against Cincinnati in the matchups this season. He has two goals and three assists. As for the goaltending matchup tonight, it's going to be different, at least from a Cincinnati perspective. Rob Medor, who came in to relieve Magnus Helberg midway through the game, is going to get the nod here tonight. His record stands at 14-10-0 after a no decision in the Friday night tilt. He has won his only game against Elmira, obviously got some great saves in last night's performance. His goals against in now two matchups against Elmira is at 133. On the other side, it's going to be Neil Conway again. The second year Cleveland, Ohio native is 8-6-1-2 this season with a 264 goals against, but he has lost both of his matchups against the Cyclones, a goals against average in those games of 5.01. Obviously, the Cyclones can't take anything for granted. They've got to put it all out on the line as after this weekend's game is done, they are going to get set up for a long road trip down south beginning on Wednesday night in Orlando. We invite you to join us for all the fun here in downtown Cincy. The puck drops at 730. We'll be on the air in case you can't be with us in person at 705. I'm Nick Brunker and this is Cyclones TV.